Hi, this is Pawan from Uplats. I am your success factor onboarding 2.2 trainer. Today we are going to have an introduction to SAP SF. SAP success factors onboarding. Have you ever heard about heard about SAP the word SAP? Yeah, actually SAP is a HCM tool. HCM tool. HCM means human capital management. In order to manage the human resources in any organization we have already discussed this again i am telling you sap is nothing but it is a system applications and products system applications and products is sap sap means system applications and products this is called a hcm tool this is a hcm tool which manages the human capital management it is called human capital management say for example if we are running an organization organization in the sense first of all it comprises of all human power human power can be utilized to run the organization of course missions they can do whatever they are suggested to do but in order to maintain so sap is a hcm tool which is used to manage the human resources in an organization so in the beginning sap has its own product hcm product that is on premise product which is used to maintain these all human resources that is for recruiting purpose that is for maintaining the people in the organization that is for running the generating the payroll of the people in order to Uh, give the hikes of the people everything which to which is needs to be done systematically in order to run a business they have to give a quote to other organization they have to get the projects okay they have to get the work some purchases will be there in a company there will be some purchase invoices purchase bills and all these are all will be maintained under sap so later on sap has developed its own cloud product own cloud product instead of developing an own cloud product it acquired success factors it acquired success factors success factors is the cloud product of sap it acquired sap why because instead of developing a new platform for a cloud product instead of developing a new product better to acquire a product which was already success in the market at the time there is success factors which is a cloud product for this hcm there is human capital management sap acquired the success factors okay so success factors is the cloud product and sap is the on premise product so you have to know what is the difference between an on premise system and a cloud system now the market is running towards all the cloud products there is a huge demand for all cloud products but what is called an on premise system why there is a demand for a cloud platform now you all came to know that sap is the on premise system and success factors is the cloud product and also sap has acquired success factors which is a cloud product the main thing is for a on premise system the very 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 big drawback is maintaining the database maintenance of the database is the a very big drawback they have to maintain the server it will take huge cost huge manpower okay say for example if i am the customer if i am going to implement success factors in my organization i am going to adopt adopt sap in my organization i have to maintain a server maintain a server means it should be like a hard disk containing some terabytes of space which needs to be filled with the database everything the purchase orders recruiting details uh, candidate profile candidate uh, database and their salary particulars and their compensation particulars and their learning particulars and their onboarding particulars and the documents which ever provided by the candidates uh, these are all to be stored in the system okay for that we require a database the database the system everything to be installed in our laptop and company desktops this is these are all the things to be maintained if something happens to the server there will be a big damage to the organization there will be a data corruption data corruption is a very 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 big damage to 
organization so in order to avoid all these now the companies are running after migrating to cloud product you may ask suman why can't cloud these problems will arise in cloud systems also why because every system must have a database but in cloud system the protection of data is not the headache of the client or the organization owner or the client say for example if i want to run an organization you want to run an organization you are not to suppose install take up the server and take the headache of the server maintenance of the server these are all just you will buy some space just like how you will buy some extra space in our google account similarly organizations will buy some space in google accounts are not not google accounts a big organization accounts cloud accounts okay they will protect they will take care of your database just they will give an url to access your server to maintain your server so in order to sync between the database to your personal laptop there is a middleware application which is called success factors which will smoothly run the entire process and it will bifurcate the system into different modules the entire database which is maintained in the cloud will be according to the different modules which are into success factors generally in success factors we have 6 to 7 modules 6 to 7 modules what are those modules we have in, in success factors success factors is a cloud product of sap okay modules modules are we have o n b r c m r m k ec lms action planning and career development spcd these are all the modules which are involved in success factors these entire all the modules in a group combinedly called as bjx suit or all called as combinedly called as bjx suit B I Z X. Okay, if any of the module is missing in the system, that will not come under B J X suit. Okay, excluding this onboarding, not our onboarding. Onboarding one point two. Onboarding one point two. Let me change the color for this. okay so why this onboarding will not come under the bjx suit entire success factors group that is like a package all the modules in success factors is called a bjx suit except our onboarding 1.0 now we have in the market onboarding 2.0 which we are going to learn in the coming classes just first of all we have we must have an idea in the beginning what is onboarding 1.0 why our sap migrated from onboarding 1.0 to 2.0 and sap saying that sap 1.0 and 2.0 are similar 2.0 is the second version of onboarding 1.0 2.0 is the second version of 2.0 but it is not the second version it is entirely different thing entirely different thing different module i can say there is a lot of lot of entire 100% different there from 1.0 to 2.0 if you are good enough with 1.0 okay and you cannot proceed with 2.0 but you must have basic knowledge about what is onboarding what happens in onboarding 1.0 and what happens in onboarding 2.0 why because if you are immediately going to take up a job in the market now they will ask you to some systems are running with onboarding 1.0 they will ask you to migrate from onboarding 1.0 configuration to 2.0 then you must have knowledge on 1.0 also 
without knowledge of 1.2 you cannot migrate the data from 1.2 to 2.2 so you must have the knowledge in both 1.0 and 2.0 2.0 okay let me explain you okay onboarding 1.2 it is not a part of success factors it is also another third party tool which is called kms tool kms has developed onboarding 1.0 it can be used as a stand alone system standard stand alone system is without clubbing with without combining with either rcm or rmk or ec okay without clubbing this without in, i mean mapping this without integrating this module with other modules we can use onboarding 1.0 as a stand alone system see in your organization you can use only 1.0 no one will question you or you can use all the modules you have capacity you can buy the remaining modules also you can integrate that 1.0 with your success factors modules understand any doubts from here onboarding 1.2 is a separate tool it is not a part of success factor it is owned by kms it is the product of kms not sap sap is different organization and kms is different organization initially sap while taking up the success factors success factors is only having rcm tool that is rcm module rmk module ec module succession module lms lms is also different succession module it is not having onboarding it acquired onboarding from kms got it so we can use onboarding separately or we can integrate our onboarding with success factors modules isn't it now in these days what sap has done means instead of integrating the third party module with sap modules success factors modules why can't we develop our own product why can't we develop our own product okay based on this idea sap developed its own product its own product from ec platform employee central ec means employee central platform which is known as our onb 2.0 onb 2.0 okay it just they named it as onboarding 2.0 but it is not the second version of onboarding 1.0 okay in 1.2 onboarding 1.2 we have separate part for configuration this configuration of system screens which are called wizards okay and we have separate security part security part means we have to give maintain some rules and groups okay that you will understand while looking into the system and i'll explain you at the part uh, at the time when i uh, teach you about rbp rbp is the very much important part in our success factors rbp is called role based permissions role based permissions and it has separate part which is called notifications forms these are all the parts of onboarding similarly all these are having in 2.4 but the configuration the platform okay the design is completely different the design is completely different for onboarding 1 and 2 okay the main reason for developing its own product and migrating from on premise to cloud is cost cutting cost cutting in order to maintain server we require lots of lots of manpower and it it is it also includes a huge risk in maintaining the servers now we can buy some space in cloud pro, cloud area and we can maintain and also the time taking for implementation of these cloud products is very very less in the beginning days when the system is running with sap on premise it will take up nearly a year or more than an year for developing of the system that is configuration of the system implementing the system and maintenance of the system and the issues which are coming after completion of implementation that is after go live we will say in technical terminology that is in it terminology so these are all reduced when i am coming to our cloud product very simple and one can implement in 3 months the sap standard time for implementation is 3 months but people they come into the market competitively they'll ask they'll tell the customers we can implement we can 
hand over the system to you within two months, within one month, within 45 days. Such a competition is there in the market. Just it's a system ready. SAP is a built-in system. Success Factors is a built-in system. Just the consultants who are working with SAP Success Factors need to configure it, need to change the system, change some system settings, and they have to hand over it to the customer as they require, as they require. Just see, for example, simple thing. When you go to a mobile shop or a laptop shop, you will purchase your own laptop. Laptop, again, you have to install OS. Just think about a mobile. Okay, you bought an iPhone. Initially, when you take up the iPhone, it won't have anything like your iCloud account or your contacts or the email accounts or some sound settings or some vibrating settings, some more settings in setting the wallpaper, themes, and sleep time settings. Some other settings will be there in a mobile phone. Initially, Initially, when you purchase a mobile, it won't have those much settings. Say, for example, you bought that as a gift to your father or mother. Your mother will ask you, I need Lord Venkateshwara photo as my wallpaper. That is the first requirement of your mother in configuring your iPhone. Okay. And the second requirement is when my son calls me, the picture of my son should pop up as a wallpaper as a calling image and the ringtone should come when you call me i should get the ringtone of so and so movie song like that these are all called requirements of your mother while present after presenting her with an iphone and she will ask you to configure this iphone to the desired requirement similarly when a customer purchase success factor purchases a success factors they will produce they will give you some requirements i need the system to be like this in onboarding i want to capture these many details in recruiting i want to take up these many steps of interviews okay the first round of interview should be taken by so and so person last round of interview should be taken by so and so person so these are the requirements these are all the requirement just like your mother will give you some requirements in configuring an iphone your customer also will give you some requirements in order to configure the success factor system okay the very first meeting which happens with your customer after taking up the system is called the kickoff meeting in that meeting only you will discuss everything everything about the requirements how you want to be in the system you have to give, you have to run a system, you have to take up a demo system, which you, which you will see in your future days. I will give you the access for demo system, okay? You have to show the demo system. This is how the system seems to be. This is how the system works to be. These are all the options in which a system is having, okay? These are many options this you can have in the system. Now let me know what are your requirements, how you want to be the system in your organization how many employees are there okay how i need to configure the system after after picking all the requirements you will note down all the requirements in an excel sheet that excel sheet is called as workbook make a note uh, friends that is called workbook very 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 important okay at the time of requirement gathering whatever the feedback whatever the requirements okay whatever the input which was given by the client okay you will fix it up you will make a note and you will prepare an excel sheet which is having multiple sheet a book like thing in an excel is known as workbook based on that workbook only based on that workbook only you will configure the system i'll show you how the workbook looks like okay this is configuration workbook this is the cover page okay you have to standard onboarding configuration non-us why because this customer is not having the uh, location legal entity in us they are running only in the middle east countries that's why non-us you have to give your client name whoever the client name client name is nothing but business okay uh, maybe we pro maybe some pharmaceutical company like uh, Glaxo, okay, Cipla, like that. 
or education company account id every customer will have a separate separate account id this account id will be provided by sap okay after purchasing sap from uh, success factors from sap you won't buy customer will purchase sap product okay they will write a mail i have purchased sap success factor so i wanted to get it implemented i want to get it implement from my team okay or from my employees or my or from my technical consultants you people are called technical consultant i am a technical consultant you will be uh, a future technical consultant so i want to get it implemented from these people okay so provide me the requirements means so sap will provide an url provide a url url will be a simple thing just i will show like this url will look like with url and username password okay when you click on this system gets opened this is the only link which you get from sap okay to the customer in this url you have to configure you have to download the database you have to import the database of the all the employees and you have to configure the system this is success, success factors home screen system okay when you click on the drop down over here you can see whatever the modules which are present in our success factors onboarding recruiting succession careers is not a module compensation management continuous performance performance okay employee files employee files is nothing but ec module there but you cannot see ec over in this drop down you can see recruiting and you can also you cannot also see rmk rmk means recruiting and marketing okay rc means recruiting management ec employee central like this okay we will go with our implementation guide i'll show you we have table of contents in table of contents we, we must be having introduction okay and configuration and site links standard notification these are all the part of implementation so you will ask the customer what are the site links to be installed in the system incorporated in the system forms and policies what are the forms to be incorporated in the system what are the standard notifications notifications means say for example okay you have implemented success factors you joined a company the next moment when you accept the offer letter from the system okay you will get a notification you will get a notification to your email account congratulations you have joined ads technologies abc technologies please click here to access your company account and provide the necessary details like that when you click on the team it will take it to success factor system and you will fill in all your basic details and your onboarding part will be completed such kind of notifications you will configure in notifications okay not only that notification you will be having many notifications it will be based upon the customer it will be based upon the customer say for example customer requires say for example if a candidate joins in my organization after accepting a offer letter a notification to be triggered to a separate team mentioning that so and so uh, roshan has joined our organization please provide his laptop his employee id is so and so okay like that a notification will be triggered to it team asking for to provide laptop to roshan they will be notified automatically no need to make a phone call to it team it desk and see roshan is joining date is next month 15th provide him a dell laptop I provide him a keyboard provide him a mouse like that again another notification will be triggered to a uniform section say for example in your organization there will be a, some standard dress code okay a notification will be triggered to uniform team not a phone call or not a whatsapp message roshan is going to join next month 15 provide him so and so uh, these many pairs of dresses shoe everything okay some joining kit and all and medical team take up the primary medical checkups 
to hospital it should go some hospitals will be tied up with some organization how they will be notified your joining date and all with the notification with an email such emails are configured in the system once you configure that notification automatically automatically the moment you accept the offer letter the system will generate automated notification automated notification just like friends when you book a ticket a movie ticket what will happen you will get a message to your whatsapp a1 a2 are your tickets blocked for acharya movie today at 1:30 pm right you will be notified or not is it true or not friends yeah in a similar yes, yes, way different departments will get notified with a notification mentioning your details how system will recognize your details that may be a question for you in the initial days okay at the time of filling of all the details in the system system will take up the keys which is called an identification code for the system based on those keys only you have to configure a notification and that notification will get triggered to the respective stakeholders that is about the notification like that many we have some custom panel design manager workflow okay client pick list user defined fields these are all the in con- contents and this is about the introduction what the system will do okay this is something friends in future days we will go step by step uh, explaining about all the parts in the workbook not only the workbook in the system step by step what we will do how to configure the system what happens at what time okay that we will do right so now you are clear with onboarding cloud and onboarding that is on premise system that is sap on premise system right and why sap has migrated from on premise to cloud product what are the advantages of cloud product are you clear or not and this is your success factor system after this, i will provide the access for you for you all uh, this uh, system access you can start work mm-hmm. integration yeah this this is all called tiles in the home page we can configure these tiles okay but this is not the area you are working with almost all your this is the area you will be working with onboarding so these are the many onboarding process are built in onboarding system you can also build your own process you can configure your own process okay i will provide the system access access to you so after this friends we have to learn first of all what is onboarding 1.0 what involves in onboarding 1.0 few classes some two to three classes we will go with onboarding 1.0 and again we will go to rbp part then we will start the introduction of onboarding 2.0 why because rbp is the main thing which is called part of configuring configuring onboarding 2.0 okay without rbp without knowing about without having a minimum knowledge in rbp you cannot configure the system generally rbp is the part of ec consultants ec consultants will be taking care of this entire rbp area but as a consultant success factors consultant you must also have a minimum knowledge on rbp rbp means role based permissions role based permissions okay just it is an expansion what is there inside the role based permissions everything i will explain you on screen itself in the coming classes okay say for example just just i'll give you brief about the rbp what is role based permissions okay say in an organization there will be some 1000 employees let us imagine there are 1000 employees in 1000 employees how many ceos will be there only one person will be the ceo right or we may have many ceos for a single company only one ceo ceo is called the role isn't it 
what is called yes. role role is the thing which is having a set of permission set of access set of powers in system we will say permissions in general language we will say power ceo will be having a set of powers below ceo there will be another range vice presidents and presidents of the company right below them we will be having general managers and managers below managers we will be having some team leaders team leaders below will be having team right so all these people include an organization the thousand people the set of thousand people will be having working employees for these working employees one will be managing may be called as a team lead such types of teams may be many teams we have so we will be having a multiple many number of team leaders and above the team leaders we will be having managers and these managers will report to their senior managers and senior managers will report to their reporting managers and they will report to their general managers they will report to their vice president vice president will report to president and entire thing will be on the table of ceo these are the levels of company isn't it and so all these levels are called as we can say we can bifurcate them we can differentiate the levels of this particular manager or ceo vice president employee team lead whoever may be how we are defining them based on their powers based on their powers power of attorney how much power they are holding okay in our system terminology we will call them as a role we will call them as roles ceo is a role manager is a role employee is not a role okay of course we can consider employee is also a role based on each role we will assign some permissions into the system say for example we will not assign the permissions to the role of a manager okay like the role of a ceo ceo will be having more permissions when compared to manager isn't it clear or not friends who will be having more permissions ceo or manager ceo so we will give all the permissions to ceo and we will limit the permissions to managers right and still we filter the permissions to leads and it will be again filtered for employees for employees we will be giving only few permissions like system access and all we cannot give access to the payroll of another people to employees other employees being you an employee you, you don't have system access to go into the system and check the salary of your colleague right isn't it can you modify the leave of your colleague can you grant a leave to your colleague through the system we can't why because there will be some restricted access to you but ceo can do that right that is called permissions granting the permissions to different people based on their role based on their role okay so we are granting the access to different roles we are granting access to different roles so roles are nothing but a set of permissions don't imagine that role is a ceo role is a manager role is a team lead it is nothing but role is a set of permissions okay that role will be assigned to a group role will be assigned to a group isn't it roles and groups are associated we will create the group in the system we will create the group in the system yeah and i'll show you just run see here when you type ma na manage permission role it will take you to manage permission roles okay this is the navigation to manage permission role this is the first class for your rbp you have to create a role okay create new you have to type in here everything this is called tool search friends you have you can search any person name 
or any action, any tool for navigating. You have to give role name. I will give role name as CEO only. Description also CEO. Description can be anything. Okay. Here grant this role to. We can grant this role to any group. Okay. And click on the permissions. These are all the permissions you can give. The very first permission, important permissions is under general user permission. This is about onboarding, offboarding object permissions. When you click on this, this user which is present in this particular role, assigned to this particular role, can view and access this part, access as a task. Okay. In coming classes, you will understand. This is onboarding, offboarding permission. When I select this, these are all the permissions granted to this particular CEO role. So CEO can able to view the documents, access additional data permissions, can complete the data collection, can show compliance forms, onboarding tasks he can see, he can see the e-verify and I-9 forms and all. Okay. And under permissions, we have two types of permissions, friends. User permissions and admin permissions. User permissions are what we will give to the users of the system, who will use the system. And admin permissions are the set of permissions which we will grant to our consultants, configuration consultants, that is you people, myself, okay, who are going to configure the system. We have to assign our own permissions ourselves. No one will assign you the required permissions to you. Why? Because you are the technical consultant. You have to assign your own permissions. Okay. No one will give you the permissions. You have to grant yourself the permissions. In general user permissions, let me check somewhere it is. Yeah, this is onboarding, onboarding 1.4 permission. You have to select all. I'll tell you, friends, how, what happens if you won't give the permissions? What happens if you give the permission? The difference also I'll show you in the system. First, let me take you through the general. Yeah, this is general user permission. This is the mandatory permissions you have to give. User login permissions. What if, if you miss this permission to any role? Okay. Immediately, when you create a role, this is the CEO role and save the change, okay, and you'll assign, grant this role to which group, CEO, click on that, this is inactive, we have to activate the tool after creating, let it load, okay, after adding a group, it will ask, grant this role to which group, these are all the groups. Okay, you can also create a group. Let us create same group. Mm. What is this? Let me duplicate my screen. Manage permission groups. Let us create another group. Group name, CEO. Okay. User type. User type may be employee. You have to pick user who should be in this group. User equals to search for any employee like this. Savakar, you can add n number of people here, like, let me check my name is there or not. Come on. You may surprise friends how these names are visible in the system. See, for this we have to import the employee data in the system. When we import the employee data, we can see all these names in the system. I'll show you how to import the employee data also. 
so i have added two people into this ceo group okay and this is another category friends exclude these people okay say for example you have created based on uh, nationality okay if nationality is equal to india then all the people of india will coming here let me show you that also nationality okay nationality equals to india you don't have india in the system mm let's see saudi the the country this national to you can pick by location mm. gender if gender equals to male to show you based on gender this is not completely configured system i'll show you let us go with uh, city city any city delhi search for delhi no result mm -hmm. california why it is not it okay i'll configure this later and i'll show you okay let us take up with users only add another add another and we are okay, done so we have added three people after adding just click on update it will update into three and click on done so a group with ceo name has been created now the thing is we have to assign this group to this role okay at least one group okay add the group ceo Cancel it. Grant permission role. We didn't need. Search for our group CEO. yeah see you it is there done click on done clear friends so what we have done we created a role with the name ceo and we have assigned these many permissions to this ceo role and we added a group we tagged a group to this ceo role so whoever the people are present in the ceo group will be having all these set of permissions is it clear okay so groups and roles roles are called set of permission and group is a set of people people may be managers or their managers managers or the users or people from a separate location or from a people some different division separate division okay so we can bifurcate people into based on their division based on their location based on their country based on their gender anything we can bifurcate and we can add or assign or attach or integrate that particular with the group with a particular role okay with this we can filter the permissions of the so and so users in the system we can restrict the access of the system to limited people is it clear 
just providing access okay why because this is very important in the beginning days whenever you configure a system customer will provide you only the database of all the employees maybe 10000 employees or 1 lakh employees or 10 lakh employees they will provide you the database among the database they will provide you who are the people acting like managers who are the people acting in the finance department based on that only you have to divide the people you have to create the roles and groups and you have to add them into the particular groups and you have to assign the respective permission that is very 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 important we cannot supposed to give all the permissions to all the 10000 employees in an organization okay the permissions will be limited the permissions will be different to different kind of people based on their based on their roles or positions right clear friends yeah we will again clearly you know this is not this is just a simple thing like a overview on rbp we will clearly discuss on rbp in our coming classes okay clear see friends here in this system you don't have anything like a coding again again i am reminding you no need to worry about the coding this is a very simple task okay okay just implementing just taking the requirement of customer only the thing is you should be good in your communication why because always you will be talking with your customer you will be asking your customer what are the requirements okay you have to draft your email in a particular uh, that is in a good knowledge or good uh, communication uh, good english knowledge vocabulary drafting knowledge you should have so that customer can easily understand what you are asking him what he has to provide him in order to run the implementation smoothly okay right friends if you have any doubt okay you can ask me i'll provide you system access okay i can guide you in everything we will look into a real time project also hmm? i'll show you how the system works in real time what are the queries will be will come from business that is business means generally friends we will call client as business not the client always we will call, call our client as business that is the terminology in it field okay we will catch up in the next class by tomorrow